I'm Dave Kekich, and I have a, I've had a very avid interest in uh, life extension, age reversal for, oh man, since I was in my 20s or 30s, uh, long before it was other than science fiction, other than it was proposed in, in medicine or, or science. Um, I formed a Maximum Life Foundation in 1999 nonprofit foundation and uh, we've been around raising a little money uh, now we're getting into high gear trying to raise a lot of money uh, for specific research uh, not research so much well research but also clinical application of specific technologies uh, specifically gene therapies like I say I've always had an interest uh, in this uh, I was in various uh, fields uh, primarily real estate and uh, life insurance. Um, I got a, a spinal cord injury in 1978, which knocked me out of my businesses and uh, put me in a wheelchair since. And I searched for a cure. I went overseas, spent 18 months traveling around the world uh, looking for a cure, which didn't exist, but I, I didn't, didn't believe the doctors here, you know. And uh, I spent many years raising money for uh, paralysis research. But I, my passion, well, always wanted to walk again, of course, but I realized that once I get uh, cured, uh, even if research were accelerated, I'd be too old to be doing the things that I was loved to do and was used to doing before I got hurt. And I was an avid uh, distance runner uh, weight trainer, uh, very into, my, into the physicality of life, but also science and technology. And um, I wanted to recapture those things and I never lost my uh, hope and passion for life extension and for age reversal. And I saw that some of the technologies like stem cells uh, over, overlap. Um, some of the gene therapies uh, overlap, specifically one for neurological pain as a result of spinal cord injuries. And, um, and also uh, a lot more people are suffering from aging. And uh, when I had the paralysis wasn't terminal, but aging was and is, and I wanted to change that. So I, I really want to eliminate pain and suffering from this world as much as I can. And the best way I can think of doing that is by attacking the aging process. So I, I look for a world where all diseases uh, are a thing of the past, where aging is a thing of the past, uh, where re complete and total rejuvenation uh, would have already happened. And uh, as importantly, or probably more importantly, enhancements uh, would have taken place through technologies such as uh, nanomedicine specifically nanomedicine, other technologies too, but nanomedicine I think has the greatest potential to uh, enhance us way beyond uh, our dreams of being a Superman or a six million dollar man. So I guess my question to you is what are the other things in, your, in terms of your philosophy, in terms of how you get to this place that we need to bear in mind or that we need to think about? Well, from the medical standpoint, uh, I think that uh, we should definitely, certainly, uh, have the right to try under informed consent. I see more and more optimism building because of this tremendous technology or these tremendous technologies that are being developed and have been developed. Um, these technologies would, would answer, over time, most of the world's ills, whether it's food, or, or what have you. I think in the short term, uh, biotech is the most important. And yeah. just because we, you know, we, we need to survive aging and we need to survive these diseases that are associated with aging and the diseases, that, the pathogens that we uh, are subject to catching. And uh, in uh, biotechnology, specifically gene therapy, including, uh, in, inclu including CRISPR. And the harsh reality is I'm, I'm 77 and uh, I do what I can to keep myself in good shape. I, um, I, I, I try to take advantage of the, the things like senolytics and 
uh, NAD plus patches and uh, some stem cell uh, injections. I'll be getting some gene therapies. Uh, unfortunately, you can't get them in this country uh, legally. Uh, so, uh, but I'll be, I'm planning on getting some gene therapies and I'll be one of the pioneers doing that. And I don't know if I would do that if I were, uh, you know, 47 or 57. I, I think I'd wait, especially until the price comes down because they're awfully expensive. But, uh, you know, we can get gene therapies now in Mexico. And, um, and, and, and so far, very safe and effective. And uh, I want to build my immune system. That'll be one of them. Uh, I want to lengthen my telomeres. That'll be one of them. I want tell to me specific, so tell me specifically about these gene therapies, because that's really interesting. So tell me, so we can't do it here, but what are the promises, particularly for you, and of the different sorts of gene therapies that you're doing? Well, uh, the ones that are available, I mean, I'd be, I'm not sure which ones I'd be able to do, but, but the ones that are available uh, could uh, increase your number of mitochondria and revitalize your existing mitochondria. Wow. Um, one could uh, build muscle uh, and uh, clean out your arteries. Uh, one could uh, potentially, not, not by a tremendous amount, uh, but increase intelligence, uh, at least slightly, uh, could uh, reverse uh, or at least arrest Alzheimer's and other dementias, uh, potentially um, uh, prevent. Uh, one would lengthen your telomeres, uh, uh, and another one uh, take you know could could uh, potentially rejuvenate you to a certain degree. Uh, I mean, Liz Parrish, you might have you might know Liz. Uh, her leukocytes uh, were reversed by 33 years. So uh, it's just a matter of getting uh, better uh, transduction, uh, figuring out the right doses, better delivery systems, getting the cost down. But right now we're on the path and we have things that work uh, and they'll work better and better and better in the future. And we'll come up with more genes that we'll be able to use uh, that will reverse aging eventually as a combination. So I'm not sure how much they would rejuvenate us. I'm not sure if they get, get us back to our 20s, but I think combined with other therapy, it's gonna be a combinational rejuvenation. It's gonna be a combinational therapy. And what's the process? So you go to Mexico, so tell me about the, so it's, I'm sure it's very expensive, but how, are there, is it trials or is it just about money? Is it, what is it, how does it, how does it work? Well, a couple of things are about trials. Uh, my foundation, Maximum Life Foundation, has funded uh, trials uh, not a trial, a human study uh, for dementia. And that's already paid for. And we've got a few patients signed up and we're uh, getting, you know, the last couple of few patients. And uh, we'll be treating them and then following them for a number of years. Uh, I'm looking for grants uh, for sarcopenia, muscle wasting or, and muscle building and uh, atherosclerosis. Uh, I'm looking for a grant uh, to, uh, or donations to reverse uh, or to re, uh, regenerate uh, aging immune systems. So those are the kind of things we're looking for right now. Wow. And, and basically what you do is it's a simple out, outpatient procedure. Um, you get a, in some cases an IV uh, with a delivery system uh, carrying the gene uh, and it would get into your bloodstream and circulate and uh, the, uh, the delivery system would be a viral vector uh, used on thousands of people and proven to be safe over the, you know, for the last, I don't know, 30, 40 years. And uh, then uh, you go home and wait for the slow uh, mm -hmm. process of, of getting uh, whatever results you're looking for. Well, how, and, long, does it, how long does it take? Do you, know, do you know how long it takes generally? Or is it just vary? Are you for the injections? No, no. For, oh, for the, 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 yeah. Well, it's, it's interesting. Liz uh, got her first uh, telomere measurement uh, after six months. And she had, a, uh, I think, a 20 or 25 year, uh, I think a 20 year uh, reduction uh, in her biological age of her, of her telomeres. By the way, she looks younger now than she did five years ago. Really? Yeah. Um, 
And uh, then she had, she had her telomeres tested again about a year later. And now it was 33 years. So it continued to work. Uh, we don't know how long, if, we don't know if it's still continuing, but she's having another test. I, I suspect it's done what it's going to do. Uh, the gene for uh, muscle building, uh, it works faster. And hopefully it'll, it'll clear out uh, the uh, arteries, uh, the plaque in arteries. But uh, we want to do a study to determine that.